This looks pretty. Alright. Run away. This is a nice easy chest to start off with. We got more hack silver and we got a world serpent scale. There is some healing here. We do not need it. I'm going to leave it there for now. And then this looks like an arena. What is this place? Ah, could it be? The Eight Thrones. Stop being coy, Ed. Do you know this place or not? Ah, Mimia, the smartest man alive. I know many things. Well, whatever this place is, it looks important. To who? There is little of value here. I think this is really pretty. But all of the faces as well. Well. There's some faces. Got a new map location. We are here. Council of the Valkyries. I wish that they would just stay open. But I guess like the whole point is that they only allow one way to travel, so it makes sense. I actually don't think that there is anything here for us. I thought since it give us health. Oh, is there another way? We can't get rid of this stuff yet. I thought since it give us health that there was going to be like a fight or something. So that was like health to like top us up before we had to go into a fight. But apparently not. Oh, it's a froggy. I think I said that on the way in as well. I'm so predictable sometimes. So I guess maybe we go down this way. Found anything good in Fafnir's storeroom? Like maybe a whetstone? No. Hey, Sindri, have you met Mimir? Uh, if you mean the severed head that keeps blinking at me, please keep it away. There is no possible way that's hygienic. Oh, that's nice. Lovely to see you too, Sindri. Nob. Nob. Why? Is that a piece of my braided mistletoe arrow adorning your quiver strap? Oh, a little memento of your good pal, Sindri. I'm so terribly touched. I'm wondering. So, a Freya told us that those mistletoe arrows that we got were bad and that they were evil or whatever. And he get them to us. 
Do we be suspect? Like, do we be sus of Sindri? Be careful where you're going. There's nobody nice out here anymore since all the people left. I mean, I hate to generalize, but um, mostly they just try to kill you. Good tip. Um, that, that I know it's fair. not my business, but if I were you, I'd wash off that symbol painted on your neck. We were told it would help protect us. Was that a lie? Oh, no, it's a protection stave, all right, but you can't render that pigment into paintable texture without blending it with boar urine. And is that really better than death? Maybe a little. Well, well, it's your neck. <laughs> Sindri, have you always been so... Clean? Huh, don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny beasties on everything around us. Ugh, so small you can't even see them. No. It's true. And if they get inside you, they make you sick. But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent. Stops the beasties from spreading. So now, I make all my handles from oak. See? I think of these things. Okay, back to work. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Boy. Oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals using his own bare hands. No gloves. Says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be. Touch enough raw silver and it changes your skin irreparably. That means forever. I wouldn't bring it up to him, though. <laughs> You know how sensitive people be. I guess that makes sense. Sindri, why don't you just make up with your brother already? Me? Make up with him? Because That's he's an obstinate point. pighead incapable of change. Because he says the most terrible things about me just because he's insecure about his own work, which, let me tell you, is subpar. Because he blames me for... for the things that aren't my fault. Huh? Like what? Would you pardon me, please? I need to collect myself. Oh, he doesn't want to talk about it. He doesn't actually want to talk anymore. Okay. <gasps> Off we go. What's over there as well? <laughs> that goes up there. I'm gonna go over this way. And I think our main objective is down there. But we're gonna go over and see because we can get rid of those red crystals now. Actually, what's under this? Um... Yeah. Oh, that's what we went past before, right? Lemire, you were in the middle of a story before. How would Freya agree to marry Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. Do tell. Another name. Gandrifle. Another Valkyrie. 
That's no coincidence. But who'd have etched them on Tears Braziers? Ooh. I wonder if we go around to all of the brazier things and light all of those, if that's going to impact the Valkyrie bit that we've just been in. Do we try this? of realms a form of substance found inside realm tears used to enhance unique properties of various talisman we've closed three out of 18 good job there is a birdie are we gonna oh do you think we're gonna be able to get it from here Timing wasn't that far off. Height was a little bit. That was timing. I don't even know if we're close. No, I don't think we're getting quite far enough on this. Can we go down there? like we only went like part the way down is that an option like can i get off here no we might be able to get it throwing up i uh le release it earlier it earlier Odin and Frey were ever married. And we'll pick this up later. Too early and too short. If that had the distance, but I can't tell. Way too early, but it def it doesn't have the distance. Stone falls. There's something up there.
All right, let's go up. Oh, hello. You wouldn't want to be that guy. I think if I get the timing right. Just like that. But we'll steal more world serpent thingies. I just get both of them. So many chests. I don't know if you'd call these chests. Probably not. Sigil of Runic increases resistance to frost attacks by 50%. Stacks up to 85. Is so good. So I have already been here.
no. Down was the way I wanted to go. Come on. Down we go. I think that's gone all the way around once by now, right? Here we go, now we got this chest. Successful axe kills grant rage burst. And we got the pristine dust of the realm. Mystic dust that pulses with mysterious forces used to upgrade powerful armor found only in stone force. see if I can go across there. Because there is the thing with the red crystal. Might be around the other side. I can't believe Odin and Freya were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants, and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Fjorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half-god and half-giant? Weird. Once Fjorgun was gone, lonely ages passed for Odin. And as war with the Vanir raged, I could see what he really wanted beneath his bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, Freya agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted her so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Oh, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly... Despite his wise counsellor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. 
The taste of Vanier magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. Okay. 